for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, what a spectacular play by that defensive end to come up with the tackle there. And you see those guys get off the football so fast. Most of these guys are 250 to 275 pounds, but they get off the ball fast, low. And the offensive line, they have no chance to stop those guys as quick and as fast as they are. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a push down for this offense. And the Bulls are threatening in the red zone. They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. Got the quick pass. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for a quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. From the shotgun, the inside get. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, good call by the defense there. They dialed up blitz into that running play, and the linebacker able to make a stop. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Wants to throw. It's Carter. Let's it fly. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. On fourth down, looking for the completion. Fuck! Ah, no! The ball just trickles to the ground. This offense is so deep in the hole, it looks like the end zone's at the end of the earth. They'll start this drive with a pass. Grabbed behind the line, it's Whittington. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Let's see what they've got on second down. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Smashes through. He's up to 86 yards on the ground. He wanted to make a first impression, and he's doing that in this opening game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Casper. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. The Turners don't get many shots, right? Like, they only get a few shots a game. They want to maximize it. You're not going to get any shots if you don't secure the football. you got to take care of the football, big fella. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Holds it in. Just what the doctor order to get away from the shadow of that goal post and pick up a first down at the 23. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Looking left. And they can't connect, but the flag flies, and I think this is going to be pass interference. Defense, defense, defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. To the air, it's Carter. They're bringing heat. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. And it's first down, but they'll try the field goal in the closing seconds of the first half. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And now the lead is even bigger. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. And the Ducks will kick it off to start the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. South Florida has it back, and the Bulls' offense will return to the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece, and this is coach speaking, very simple. I score, I get a stop, I score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. 
It, it's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops. So this is a critical drive here for this offense. The Bulls want to pick up the tempo. Looking to move it through the air. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect them to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. A strike downfield. This offense hasn't found the end zone yet. Starting the move, it's first and ten. Out of the gun, the inside handoff. Looking oh, for a fix. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Got some work to do on second down after that last one. They need 13. The receivers often will run their route based on the side adjustment. Back to pass, it's Carter. Zings it complete to the right. They get it down to the... Pathway in prime position for a score. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. He'll do it himself. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, South Florida. Sometimes we ask coaches about halftime adjustments, and they go, blah, 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 blah. And then sometimes they make some good ones. <laughs> sometimes that blah, 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 blah actually works, but it's working now, but it might be too little too late. At least you got the party started. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. I know they put up really good numbers on offense, but David, they're starting to feel a little game pressure right now. Exactly. That scoreboard's starting to get a little bit tired cutting into that lead. Now, you know every possession matters, Palmer. A little pressure for this offense. Yeah, and so you can't get tight, right? The best players on this offense now need to step up and they need to start making plays. You gotta identify where those one-on-ones are. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. Give him 114 yards rushing now here in week one. A solid start to this new campaign. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. The Ducks will line up to punt it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. South Florida ready to send the offense back onto the field. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on. No! And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. The inside handoff. Hey, that's a live ball. Oh, the fumble and the defense got it. Fumbles are great when you force them, and you're always thinking about it as a defensive player. But man, when the weather conditions start to come down, it starts to rain, and you know that ball's a little bit slick, and you know more runs are coming. You really try to get to that football. Nice job getting the football out, falling on top of it, forcing the turn. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've got it at the 36. It's a first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside kick. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. Just on the edge of the red zone, first and 10 from the 21. He'll take a shot. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, USF! And it took a minute, but the passing attack now on board. The first passing touchdown of the season. And it took to the second half, but I'll tell you what. This offense will find its rhythm. They'll grow. They'll get better throughout the season. And this is going to be a hard passing attack to stop. He'll bring it out. It's low. He's brought down at the 30, but a productive return after deciding to bring it out. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've got to get something going. Yeah, those turnovers can be contagious, man. It gets you excited, and then when your offense takes it down the field and does something with it, this offense better be ready to play against a motivated defense. They got him at the 42, but he got five yards on the play. First down for this offense. They'll run it from the gun. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. And come on now, O-line, you got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. The Ducks will punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Line gets set, first down. Running back searching for a hold. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who start through the first three periods. We'll start the quarter offense about to snap it on second down. They'll give it to Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. Grabbed in the middle, it's Smith. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. Yeah, when you're in plus territory on fourth and one, I don't think the quarterback was ever thinking about coming off the field. I wouldn't be surprised if the QB convinced the coach to go ahead and do it from the way it looked. A hundred percent. That's coach. We got this. Absolutely. We want more points. We gotta go for it. I believe in my guys. The players always try to go for it. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and six. up with 
some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Back to pass. It's Carter. Pressure coming. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the Bulls will call on their punt team. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, oh my God. We're going to come back. Downs, uh, that last we we, so we can't, put them on their heels here. Maybe can't talk up here. Personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. Wants to throw on first down. DPI. DPRA. It's fucking go. The flag is down and it looks as if the defense was roughing up that receiver. How many times do you think they're going to run that one back in film study? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. It'll be a long film study for him. Off the play fake on first down. Wants to throw. He can't make the connection. It'll be incomplete. He can scramble, but couldn't create anything there. Priority number one, protecting your quarterback. You're down in the ball game. You've got to make sure you don't get those hits on him. Protect him a little bit more. We can get some big plays down the field. And the D deny them on second and goal. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range. You got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And how about the response from this defense? Put in a horrible situation, horrible field position. Jesse, they bowed their necks three times in a row. Yeah, and it's a sudden change situation. And they practice that all week. You never know when they're going to come up. But you have to have guys on the field playing with a sense of urgency. This has been awesome defensively. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And Oregon has it back, and here comes the offense. And the fumble on that last drive could have been much worse, David. They, they bailed him out and helped score a field goal, so that's the good news. Now this offense has to get it going. Forget about the fumble, Jesse. Move on. Be positive. And they're upset with themselves, too. Uh, they're an offense that pride themselves on ball security. Let's see what they do right here. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Now they've got breathing room. Got six all the way out to the 20. Trying to move the sticks on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wide out. And the misconnection on third down. And the Ducks will send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Slips through the line. He turns like that, and while you don't settle for the fair catch, whoa, 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 I did not fucking press anything. On the field, and we've got a dandy all tied up waiting the fourth. On first down, here comes this offense. To the air, it's Carter. Fires to the big fella. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. He's got trips wide, a single receiver to the left on second and short. Leaves it with the running back. The Bulls pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They'll line up with trips to the right side on second and six. The give from the gun. And how about that play by that giant, that mountain of a man on the defensive front. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. 
from the gun, wants to pass. They're trying to get to it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. And the Bulls send out the punt unit. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. The Ducks ready to go back to work on offense. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first, first down, Jesse. Get that first, first down, stop the clock, get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Takes a handoff. It's Whittington. Discards a man. Picks up just a few before he's brought down. Not really willing to take a risk there on third and long. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Ducks decide to punt it away. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Offense set on first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. After misfiring, it's second down. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. right back to the air on second and ten and the pass is incomplete charge loose by the hit here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down and off from the shotgun and sure tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker the bulls line up the punt it away He'll try to really get into this one. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Bringing it back, it's low. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Four quarters, not enough to settle this one. We're headed to overtime. And these teams have played so well, back and forth, evenly contested game. How about a little free football, Jesse? Yeah, I love this game. Free football. Finding out which of these two teams is the most mature. Who can settle down now with the game on the line and make the big play? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. They feed him again. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. And the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Slips his tackle. Chunked it away just as he was hit. 
So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. It's good, and that was dead solid perfect. And with that, they've taken the lead. Down by three, it's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. Gonna run it. It's Lamb. Tackle is made after a pickup of six down to the 19-yard line. The noise level is relentless here on second down. Looking for a man. It's Carter. It's complete to the left. And he's down after making the catch, but did not reach the line to gain. Huge third down here. A field goal will send us to another overtime, but a touchdown would win it. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense will call a timeout. They got a peek at the formation. Want to make sure they're in the right call on this big down here in overtime. And they are coming out for what will be a huge field goal attempt. No problem at all as he knocks it through and will go to another overtime. second overtime period out of the shotgun they go to the ground tackle is made after a pickup of six down to the 19 yard line this crowd knows this defense needs them right now picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact this thing has been back and forth now first and goal as they try to take the lead in overtime number two they want to throw it. He caught it. And he'll run out of bounds just short of the goal line. Wanted to get it in, but couldn't quite get home. Try to march their way in. Touchdown, Bulls. Got it in to take the lead here in the second OT. They got the touchdown. Now in the second overtime, you have to go for two. And I like the running back's vision. He sees the hole, explodes through it. He knows where the goal line is, gets in the end zone, gets six. Can't do it better than that. The two-point conversion is good, and the lead is eight. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. Comes out throwing on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. After the big first down sack for the D, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And he feels the heat coming, and it burns him up. Another sack. Four down territory in overtime, and they need to pick up a third and long here. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Got the back over the middle. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth and long, and they have to pick it up to keep their chances alive. On fourth down, trying to find his man. It's incomplete, and that's going to be a fourth down stop. Seals it in overtime. What a thriller. What a confidence builder. To we be fucking won in the second game. overtime. This team has oh to my God. their ability to come up with big plays and big moments. How about the overtime for the individual efforts we saw? Oh this team my God. playing as a unit, doing enough and oh. doing everything that was needed to get the overtime. I'm about to shout my thoughts to YouTube. It'll be fun to watch that. Forth. Oh my God. God. If you lose, but when you come through with these games the late in the ball game, it gives you confidence throughout the season to continue to build on it. What a great win. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.